Well, welcome back, Captains. We're out here at the New Smyrna boat ramp, and I want to bring your attention to the boat that's out there in the middle. This guy doesn't like docking, and I don't either sometimes. Cubs in nice and clean. A little hot, and that's that. But as I was saying, let's focus in on that boat out there in the middle, and I'll let you enjoy the show. He finally gets himself situated and starts to nose in over here to the dock where you're supposed to go and basically wait, then go get your trailer. Now, unfortunately, these guys here on the left-hand side, their boat broke down. Not sure what it was, but I think their steering went out. We'll have that one on the next video as well. Now, these boys are out here waiting to exhale. I think they're coming over to the main dock now. Yep, there it is. A little thrust right there. And that's how you end yourself up in the water. Well, when you got a captain that does that, you might get one hell of a rope burn. Now, he may not know where neutral is. But these guys on the dock here, and they got the line in the hand. That's time to shut it down. But the only problem here is that they're blocking the ramp. They shouldn't be over here. They should be on that dock, which I thought they were going to, on the far side over there. Now, if you didn't know, there's no cleats over here, and those little center caps that are down there on the dock are the first sign that this is not where you come and tie your boat up at. And sometimes people make an exception for disabled boats like this one. What's that saying? The lack of poor planning does not constitute an emergency on my part. I think that's it. Yeah, sometimes it happens. Salt water eats away at these boats, tears things up. I've been there. Look at them out there making rooster tails now. Remember the throttle positions. It's go, no, and uh-oh. Right. He puts that rail right into the dock there, and it chatters as it goes across it. I can tell you what, that boat looks like it just came out from underneath the oak tree. Someone put some starter fluid in it and said, let's go. Man, that gel coat is thirsty. Look how dry it is. Now he's going to put it right up against this dock. Now you'd think you got two lines in hand, you'd shut it down. Not today. You don't watch out. That's going to be Bob Barnacle cleaning there in a second. Oh. Ooh. Yep, that's how you shut a motor off instantly. Well, if you want to see something crazy here, this guy has to load this boat in sideways and has no problem doing it. That's the natives. They're real good people. They got good food, and they keep you happy on the water. Let's watch this ice cream boat do its thing. Ignore the blue top down there. My hand-eye coordination is not that good. I'd be all sideways and backwards and wouldn't know how to do this thing, but this captain's a professional. He might need a little bit of that credit card captain lube on that steering column. But all in all, that's how you stick it in there. Well, back to the action over here. Let's see what he's going to do. He throws in that 200 foot of line over there and looks like it falls in the water. Thankfully, he picked it up before it gets sucked in.
It's tough. There he goes. Look at Rooster Tail kicking it. I think he's just showing off. Now he put it in reverse for some reason and he needs to go forward. Full on sideways. Now Missy Elliott would have flipped it and reversed it and put it on there but that's that. Well here we go. I was expecting to see one of these bunks ripped off like in that other video. Now the guy in the red shirt, he's about to get himself in a dangerous situation. Now this ramp slipper than Dunlop is, and he's about to get down here next to this propeller. Chances are if you slip, you're going to fall backwards, and your feet are going to go up in the air, and your feet are going to be right in this prop. Listen. He's about to put it in gear. He's about to put it in gear. There ain't no reason to be back there pushing that boat in from that direction over there. See exactly what happened there? He would have slipped, feet would have went up in the air, and they would have been in that prop. Think about it sometimes. The captain of the boat could easily push that thing off the wall over there, put it in gear, and get going. Everybody's a beginner at one time. Well, let's see what the first attempt brings. I told them this thing's over here too close to the edge, but they don't want to move it. And I'm tired of giving people tips that don't want to listen. So don't put that in the comments anymore. Yeah, I think by hand's going to be the best way, and that looks like what they're doing. Well, what's your thoughts? I think this is one of the most frustrating ones I've seen in a while. There we go. There's some progress. Nope, never mind. Just kidding. 
You'd think this thing had some rollers on it or something, but I think the captain just put it in reverse. Straps all twisted. We might see this one for sale on Marketplace. Garage kept, just needs a little bit of work. Now I gave them a tip, they got way too much strap there. And they've gotta go home and cut the end of that off. I hope they don't cut the wrong end. You gotta unwind it and cut the backside off of it. Now this is the only time that length isn't important. He's gotten the strap straightened out and he's hooked up one more time. Well, that's just a bit outside. Well, as they get this thing situated, I want to thank you guys for watching, liking, and subscribing. If you want to see more videos, don't forget to check out the TikTok, the Facebook, and all the other ones over there. We got some merch coming. I'll put a link in the description. If you want to, you can pre-order. I got a couple of them floaty keys that are coming with the logo on it. Well, I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.